Hey everyone, welcome to day three at Rapid Game Day here. I am sitting with Dr. Rags, who's an associate professor at Navajo Technical University and an America Makes member. I want to hear from you what you've been um, what you've been working on. Tell us, but before that, tell us a little bit about what you have going on at Navajo Technical University. Okay, so Navajo Technical University is the number one tribal university with uh, all Abbott, uh, major majority of the Abbott accredited engineering programs and uh, we are offering the uh, engineering degree, four years engineering degree in advanced manufacturing. So we do a lot of uh, training program for our students on Metal Additive AM. Very nice. And what, what's uh, the demographics of your university? Yeah. 95% uh, of the students are from Navajo Nation and the remaining 5% are the different races. That's amazing. And uh, you have these new programs. Are these relatively new programs in additive manufacturing? Yes, based on the industry requirements. Uh, so we got a lot of uh, uh, requirements from the industries to start uh, the advanced manufacturing program and mechanical engineering program at Navajo Technical University to have the Native American workforce in the technical field. That's why we started that program. And how does it grow? Yeah. We get Franking out engineers, also technicians? Yes. We do offer uh, around 40 one-year certificate degree programs for the technicians, and we have 26 to 30 two-year programs and uh, 12 four-year engineering programs, and two, P uh, two master's program, and one PhD program. What does the manufacturing sector look like for you around the university? You have a lot of companies that are needing these workers? Uh, honestly speaking, we do not have that many manufacturing industries, but we do have few manufacturing industries run by the Navajo Nation people. That's really, that's exciting. We, um, you know, love to hear of these kinds of programs because it's so important to meet learners wherever they are and it is the work of Navajo Technical University and other places that really makes that happen in any part of the country. Yes, see that is our ultimate goal without sacrificing this in their indigenous culture yes. how they can be connected to the technical world. So for that our faculty is writing a lot of proposals and Admit. admit, I love it. Yeah, so Indigenous Innovative Network Admit. So this is our pr proposed title and proposed project and hopefully we are waiting for the results to come. Well, let us all cross our fingers together that that is successful. Um, I know that you have some other technical work that you're working on, so tell me a little bit about how you're also using AM at the university. Yep. So uh, the speciality of our students are they are uh, uh, highly talented, but they are very raw. So if they are given some guidance, mm -hmm. they can do wonders in the <laughs> technical field. Yes. So uh, we, our faculty team, particularly me and my colleague, Dr. Manzuru Ramani, and our lab director, Dr. Mr. Scott Halliday, we're all giving a lot of uh, programs, developing a lot of training modules to them mm -hmm. and we involve students in the high entropy alloy research. So at present, our student group are involved in developing a new high entropy alloy for biomedical implantations. High entropy alloys for biomedical implantations. Well, that just sounds cool. I understand what you're talking about though. It is, you know, using an additive process to do something very unique where you're creating the material at the point exactly. um, as, as you're combining these things together. So where are you in that grant process? Has it been submitted yet? Uh, no, waiting? we are in the process of getting the uh, procuring the material, and we are in the process of getting the superb machine. I have seen one machine in the expo. I should thank uh, the uh, Rapid TCT for introducing yeah. me a lot of new technologies and new machines and a lot of networks. So, in that aspect, uh, I am very happy to be a part of this great conference. So, Dr. Rags is shopping. I see. Yes, you're trying to build out that lab even more. 
What, uh, what kinds of stuff do you have in your lab right now? Yeah, we do have uh, all state of art machines. We do have uh, EDM wire cutting machine. We do have Optomic 500 yeah. metal additive manufacturing, and we do have a lot of uh, other uh, 3D printing machines. Okay. You name the machine, we have it in our lab. <laughs> so you have a nice mix of different technologies that the students can learn from. Yes. And so I guess I'll also ask you, you know, finally, thank you for being a member of America Makes. Thank you for trusting us to help you expand and amplify your voice here at the national level. And then I, I would also just ask you, uh, you know, what else can we do to, to be supporting you at Navajo Technical University in your endeavors? Yeah, on behalf of Navajo Technical University and our partners, I should thank America Makes because you have already given a letter of support for our proposal. So uh, with all the partner support, I hope we will be getting the award. Yes, I, you know, we like to do those partnership letters and the support letters for you because what I think it helps us do is really situate your technology and what you're doing on the broader roadmap that we have at America Makes that we manage for the whole nation. And so um, obviously the support letter that we have says, hey, this is a legit technology and advancing it here makes a difference to you know, support the community of practice for additives. So glad to do it. And I want to say good luck. Thank I you. Hope I, because if you win, we win. We all win. Thank you. Thank you for the great opportunity. I'm so proud to be a member of this particular conference. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by, Dr. Rags. Thank you. Bye.